Hi all, welcome to VSparks. Today we are going to discuss what are all the prerequisites needed before learning AWS. If you like this video, please subscribe to VSparks channel. These are the contents of this video. We'll be seeing how a cloud journey of a person should begin. Then we will be discussing the prerequisites of AWS. Here comes the cloud journey. One who starts his or her career in cloud computing must be knowing the operating systems. When I say operating systems, it covers all the enterprise level operating systems. He or she should be knowing the basics or fundamentals of hardware or the servers and then the next thing is they should be knowing the basics of networking and they should be knowing virtualization in the third level then only he or she should proceed with cloud computing Cloud computing is fundamentally divided into three types public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud out of which AWS fills into public cloud. Similar to AWS you got Azure and Google Cloud as well. So now we are going to discuss the prerequisites one by one. First one is operating systems and hardware. To run our applications, codes, systems, delivery pipes, jobs, we need an operating system. We are going to run these things in the cloud infrastructure. So it is essential to learn about the enterprise level operating systems before entering into cloud. The cloud providers like AWS and Google Cloud use a wide range of server level operating systems Windows, Linux, SUSE are the core OS platforms supported in the cloud. The basic idea of these OS platforms is a must to get into cloud computing. Next is hardware. Cloud computing environment is built on top of the physical hardware that constitute high performance computing servers, storage servers, high performance networks and so on. These things forms the backbone of the cloud computing environment. So it is also necessary to learn about the hardware in detail. Next is networking. Without pulse, a human body is considered to be dead. Similarly, without a proper network connectivity, a machine is considered to be dead. See how important a network is. A good network is a pulse of a machine. Cloud computing needs the knowledge of networking. So, we should have some basic knowledge of routers, gateways, switches, subnetting, firewalls, route tables, IP addressing, public and private addresses and software defined networks and so on. The next prerequisite to learn cloud is to have a brief knowledge of virtualization. What is virtualization? Why we are going for virtualization? What are the benefits of virtualization? Are the questions that describes the role of a virtual environment in today's digital world. Actually, in computing, virtualization refers to the act of creating something virtual rather than the actual, including virtual computers, hardware platforms, operating systems, storage devices, and computer and input resources. A virtual environment saves investment, operational cost, space, labor, electricity, etc. Let us see how. So this picture shows a 
typical physical machine with CPU, RAM, hard disk and MIG card. So actually this physical machine is designed to run a single operating system and a single application leaving most of the machines resources underutilized. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM in this machine, the entire 16 GB of RAM will not be utilized by the operating system and the applications. Moreover, it will be using hardly around 8 GB or 10 GB of RAM. And the remaining 50% of the RAM resource, I mean the memory, is not used. It is completely idle. For this idle resources, you are spending money you are investing money in procuring this hardware, in maintaining this hardware, space rent, etc. etc. Even with many applications installed, most of the machines are underutilized. So this machine is actually an underutilized machine. This is a single machine. Think about a big infrastructure like data center. You may be having 500, thousands and thousands of machines. So all the half of the resources are not utilized, thereby leading to a lot of money wastages. Now let us see how this problem got solved with the help of virtualization. Considering the same physical machine and with the help of a virtualization software called Hypervisor, you can run multiple operating systems on top of the hypervisor or on top of the physical machine. So these voices are contained in a logical box called as virtual machines. These virtual machines are similar to your physical machines but this virtual machine is a software. With the help of this virtualization technology, we are running multiple operating systems on top of the physical machine. This will drastically increase the utilization factor of the physical machine. So now you came to know with the help of this virtualization technology, we are saving the cost in terms of machine procurement, I mean machine buying, electricity, engineering cost, rent for space, etc etc so with all these prerequisites completed if you enter into cloud computing you can master it if you like this video please subscribe to peace parks channel thank you from these parks Thank you for spending your precious time in seeing this video. Have a good day.